estos uh, Yes, uh, Kendall, madam. Uh, I think uh, something issue in your audio. Asking. Uh, am I audible now? Yeah, yeah. Now it is okay. Yeah, Kendall, please continue. Now it is okay. Am I audible? Yes. 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 Okay. Oh, uh, good afternoon to one and all together over here. On behalf of the Pithawala Institute of Pharmaceutical Science and Research Forum, I, Kinder Damit, Assistant Professor in Pharmacology Department from the Pithawala Institute of Pharmaceutical Science and Research Forum, would like to welcome you all on this online inauguration ceremony of the UCC short term training program on pharmaceutical doses repression and pilots. We have received immense response of learners who want to learn about pharmaceutical doses repression and filing from various well like industrial working personnel, academic teachers and students from UG and PG. Before starting this session, I would like to shed some light on Navyu Pizza Bhavan Trust and Sikhi Pithawala Pharmacy College. Navyu Pizza Bhavan Trust, founded by Vasu family and later by Lev T. Muradi Desai, the former Honorable Prime Minister of India, become President and Sikhi Pithawala Trust. From trustee from date 2nd May 1990. The aim and objective of the trust are to provide facilities for higher education to students without consideration of caste, community, or religion. For this, I would like to thank our trust members. Sri Mahesh Bhai Sikhithawala sir, Sri Ajit Bhai Sikhithawala sir, Sri Virendra Bhai M. Pithawala sir, Sri Rahul Bhai A. Pithawala sir, and Sri Ramesh Chandra A. Mishri sir. The Pithawala Institute of Pharmaceutical Science and Research was founded in 2005 and is being managed by Navyuk Vidya Bhavan Trust, which was founded in February 1965. Honorable Lidsi, Sikhe Pithawala Sir, has been the driving force for the setting of his uh, name after him and is continually drawing inspiration from him. Within a short span of its operation, the college has provided all the necessary facilities to help the students successfully grow. The essence of great leadership is interest and not authority. It is, I would like to request our respected principal sir, Dr. Dhiren B. Sasa, to say a few words on this event. Over to you, sir. Yeah, thank you, Kinjal. Yes, good afternoon, uh, uh, everyone who are uh, uh, present on this uh, online uh, inaugural uh, program of our uh, first uh, GPU approved uh, short term training course. First of all, I would like to welcome our uh, all honorable trustees, Sri Mahesh Bhai Pithawala, Sri Ajit Bhai Pithawala, Sri Biren Bhai Pithawala, uh, Sri uh, Rahul Bhai Pithawala, as well as the Ramesh Bhai Mistri. Uh, but uh, because of his uh, uh, tight schedule, he could not join uh, the functions, but they have uh, given us uh, their blessings for this uh, successful, for this particular program. Uh, today, we are uh, very lucky uh, that we have a very distinguished uh, uh, guest today among us. First of all, I would like to invite my uh, uh, professor and director, Dr. Uh, Sanjay Chauhan, sir. Uh, this is a director from this uh, Graduate School of Pharmacy. Uh, then uh, we have a professor, Mahesh Panchal, sir, uh, who is looking after, uh, he is a director for this uh, GTU CC center. And even we have one uh, more distinguished guest along with uh, us is from industry, uh, Dr. Vaibhav Dubey, sir. Uh, he is a deputy general manager at Alambic Pharma, uh, Baroda. So uh, on behalf of my uh, institutions, my management, my faculty members, I would like to all this distinguished guest, uh, as well as uh, all my faculty members, uh, they have already joined. I would like to welcome all my faculty members, as well as Definitely, I would like to welcome all my dear participants uh, for uh, uh, not only welcoming to this inaugural program, but uh, highly thankful uh, to uh, 
you all that you have keep us a trust on our uh, institute as well as our uh, the course that was designed and approved by this the gtu so really i am heartful thank to all my uh, participants uh, within a short period of time they have uh, registered and they have participated uh, sir we are uh, uh, i am uh, say to say that sir uh, 72 participants uh, have uh, joined particularly this uh, uh, particular our short term training program course and really it is benefited uh, to the industry because we have kept 70 to 80 percentage of our uh, speakers uh, from industry profile so uh, dear students without uh, uh, wasting your uh, much time because we have uh, so many distinguished personalities with us uh, in our uh, inaugural session so uh, once again i would like to welcome you all all the sanjay sir uh, uh, mahesh panchal sir vibhav dubey sir my faculty members and my dear participants thank you thank you very much for joining over to you kinjal yes kinjal thank you so much sir now i would like to request dr vaidhav dubey sir uh, deputy general manager alambic pharmaceutical limited on talk about pharmaceutical dosher industrial point of view over to you sir thank you kinjal for my audible problem and uh, i think like uh, i'll congratulate you and uh, my best wishes to viren sir uh, dr vinod dr sanjay dr panchal uh, for conducting such a uh, what to say more industry oriented program and uh, it's it's really beneficial and as india you know is a pharmaceutical hub and uh, there are multiple filings done from india to different countries in various geographies so it really brings up a new uh, paradigm actually when we think of specifically for dose year filings uh, to different uh, countries and it it gives us a boost and also a business perspective in a way that okay there could be <coughs> smaller companies who may be developing their own products but they may not have a regulatory bandwidth so they can they can uh, even there are several regulatory cro's which are working specifically in uh, dose year compilation and filing so that way like company like alembic we have our own setup for, for development for filing then commercialization and production of, of product but uh, there are several other small companies who have some or the other capabilities either they are a good cmo or they are a good developmental company like good cdo you can say so regulatory uh, team actually could support actually so they can have their own regulatory team they may get support from a independent regulatory team also so in that way if, uh, in i'll say in terms of job perspective it's a it's a different ball game altogether when we think of uh, uh, reading the re uh, regulatory requirement of a specific company of a specific country and then compiling a dossier according to that and filing the dossier and waiting for the market authorization actually for that particular medicinal product so just i'll i'll brief you on that dossier thing and then uh, yeah i'll i'll just discuss something from a, a company's perspective and i i believe that much time only i have uh, as dr vidu told me at around 10 to 15 minutes so the so dose here i'll say just it's basically a compilation of uh, documents related to what all things uh, that specific country needs from a regulatory aspect to be built in in, in that particular medicinal product so obviously we will say that they, everyone would need a safety assessment for that medicinal product uh, definitely they will need a quality assessment for that uh, medi medicinal product that market authorization for that product is being seeked by a company actually in that particular geography so obviously from uh, safety efficacy and quality information needs to be built in through different modules of a uh, uh, common uh, technical dossier actually uh, or common technical document that that would be filed actually in, in that particular geography so that particular uh, dossier would have all these informations it would be it would be classified in different modules like uh, if we think of uh, ics countries like countries which are following ics norms like in us or europe so they have some specific pattern for uh, a dossier so we we'll, we call it as ctd actually now we since we do it in more of an electronic form so we call it as ectd actually so in ectd you have different modules module 1 to module 5 so in different modules you will have different information regarding 
qualities, uh, clinical uh, info, then CMC, and all those stuff actually, whatever is needed. So that way, uh, all this information is being compiled in a way and submitted to the agency for uh, their review and assessment. Once the agency is uh, has reviewed, uh, given the queries, the queries have been responded well by uh, the 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 company which is seeking marketing authorization. Then that that particular regulatory agency of that particular company gives an approval for that product. Now there could be multiple channels or multiple ways or multiple forms of uh, like dossier we can say. So when we go for a NC product actually in US market, I'll I'll say more of US. So uh, there are multiple regulatory rules. So when when we go for an NC, we generally follow a five five B one type of regulatory pathway. So that particular dossier of 55B1 will more have a safety and the efficacy feature actually, because that particular molecule has been uh, like what to say, uh, been <coughs> uh, like known for the first time actually to the regulatory agency also. When we file a generic product, that particular regulatory pathway is 55J. In 55J, since more of the information is coming from an innovator product. Since innovator product is already known, so safety and efficacy things are known. It is more of a bioequivalence thing actually that this particular generic product could be building in. So that specific modules which are required for for this thing are uh, being worked out more. There are CMC requirements obviously, and the quality perspective that has to be built in. So the, the those modules are are more uh, concerned about with the when we have a 55J type of filing. Then there are uh, there is a, another type of uh, regulatory filing we call it as 55B2, which is more of uh, like when there is a reformulation of an existing drug. So safety feature of that existing drug is known. However, if if there is a if immediate release formulation currently available in the market, and company desires to make an extended release formulation, citing that they, that particular formulation will meet a, a specific unmet need. For patients, and that would be beneficial for patients in that particular scenario. So they will be going to the 55B2 type of filing. In the 55B2 type of filing, also as per the demand of the regulatory filing, the module will have certain or certain features which will be more or less, uh, uh, what to say, expressed more or less as per the uh, need of that particular uh, type of filing uh, in the U.S. market. So obviously, this particular uh, from a from industry's perspective, more uh the regulatory department which uh, different big companies they have in built in house so they will be taking care more from uh, uh, like all this uh, dossier filing thing actually compilation filing thing more so this particular dossier compilation thing is been like taken over or been done on a roll on basis so suppose uh, we have completed our exhibit batches so like on uh, with completion of exhibit batches to Uh, a stability requirement of six months, suppose in general products. So six months within this six months, actually, regulatory team would be doing all type of uh, necessary activities and compiling this particular dossier uh, in the ECTD format. And once once the six month data, uh, six months uh, stability data is in, so they will they will build in the data data accordingly, and they they will submit the uh, ECTD to the uh, regulatory uh, uh, agency of uh, that particular geography. Particular country like in US or Europe, so this is a basic thing actually what we do in in industry actually. I know there are several speakers from industry; they are experts, so they would be definitely be highlighting it better actually. And even in this ten minutes, I I think I I have this much only to say as of now. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir, for putting light on this year's perspective on pharmaceutical career. Over to our students to get positive message out of it. Once again, thank you so much, sir. Uh, now yes. I would like to request our today's guest, our uh, Professor Mohit Panchal, sir, head of Chilling Standard for Continuing Education, for giving information related to Chilling Education. Over to you, sir. Thank you, madam. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Good good afternoon, everyone. Very first, uh, I would congratulate uh, uh, C K Pithawala School of Pharmacy, particularly Principal Dr. Dhiran Shah, 
course coordinator dr vinod ramani bhumika desai madam and uh, their team for taking initiative to start this course uh, pharmaceutical uh, dosier preparation and uh, filing actually uh, recently only the proposal was uh, put up in our gtu center for continuing education committee and looking at the strength of this course the committee has approved this approved it and uh, the team has started to uh, prepare the brochure and all the things and right now i am happy to see that uh, almost 70 participants have joined this course this is very uh, we can say the very good start for this course and we are also looking for such uh, more and more batches for such courses let me give you some brief about our uh, gtu center for continuing education can i uh, share screen for few time few, few minutes yes yes sir yes sir okay i hope that uh, uh, screen is visible okay so you see that uh, uh, our center this is a uh, our website for uh, this center our co our center uh, was established into the year of 2019 and our main objective of this center is to run some uh, short term certificate courses and these courses should be such that uh, uh, candidates should get uh, more and more skills in depth skills as well as the employability so uh, we are encouraging the our, uh, our pg schools as well as the affiliated colleges as well as any non profit organization to prepare such course content and uh, join with us so you can see that uh, till now we have completed almost 40 or more than even 40 courses under this uh, center and these courses are uh, diversified means it is not restricted to only pharmacy or even only engineering or even for example vedic mathematics so that course was also uh, let me just uh, just one minute this time uh, changing the network okay so uh, you can see that uh, till now we have completed so many courses starting from uh, for example travel consultant database programming then uh, even after the corona uh, when the world was uh, means in our, in our india also some uh, new normal means the condition was looking normal at that time we have started this kind of the course new normal in the field of the travel tourism and hospitality industry similar to that uh, we have also started just i am taking the example of the bharatiya ganit shastra then uh, solar system and electric vehicles then artificial intelligence and drug discovery then high performance liquid chromatography so uh, you can see the uh, diversity of the courses then exim documentation procedure this is related to the export import then certificate course in equine study this is actually related to the horse riding horse riding and management then digital marketing and search engine optimization then cyber security vulnerability analysis then this is related to the uh, civil engineering advanced building information modeling then pharmaco vigilance uh then manufacturing technology advanced course in refrigeration air conditioning so you can see that almost 45 such courses we have completed and uh all the means in some of the courses we are uh, there is a demand of the participants so multiple batches are also uh, uh, multiple batches also completed for such courses and right now whatever the courses you have participated this course is this one uh, that is of the 60 hours and first batch of the this course we are inaugurating today so uh, the main purpose uh, of uh, this courses is to provide the platform to the colleges 
to the industries as well as some organization so that they can utilize their resources lab infrastructure manpower they can it can be utilized by uh, starting such kind of the courses and there is no uh, restriction on uh, that uh, which kind of the courses we can offer as as we have seen that uh, uh, from the multiple discipline the courses can be started only the thing is the proposer has to follow some guideline that we have already uh, mentioned here some guidelines are mentioned and uh, the format is also available online so anyone uh, who wants to start such course they have to just fill up the form and uh, they have to submit into the gtu so uh, this is a good platform and many colleges and even many organization took the benefit of these courses even uh, in 2022 we have published one booklet the, that is also available on our website where detail about our center particularly into the year of the 2022 is mentioned so you can see that uh, this booklet contains the courses which we have, we, we have already completed and some inaugural 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 sessions are also there then uh, uh, the pictures the, which are captured during the course even inaugural ceremony of the courses uh, during the different uh, into the different colleges so this is actually uh, what we can do uh, for the participants who are uh, actually studying into the regular courses like uh, graduation courses or post graduate co post graduate courses but they want to get some extra knowledge or they want to get some extra practical knowledge so for for them this is the platform to initiate some specialization courses so uh, i again congrat congratulate to uh, the principal and the coordinator of this course as well as all the participants who have actively actively uh, registered in this course and i hope that this course content delivered in this course will be very very much beneficial to all the participants and uh, means uh, the course should be run in such a way so that there will be a demand of other participants who could not able to join in this course so uh, thank you all of you thank you thank you sir Thank you. Thank you, sir, for giving information about GTU Center for Continuing Education. How GTU Sufi helps GTU industries and organizations to conduct online courses, and how anyone can take benefit of it and gain extra practical knowledge. Once again, thank you so much. Sir. Uh, now, I would like to request Dr. Sanjay Chauhan, sir, Director and Professor, Graduate School of Pharmacy, Gujarat Technical uh, Technological University. For delivering a speech on the pharmaceutical dosage, academic point of view. Over to you, sir. Thank you. I hope I'm audible enough. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. So, first of all, uh, congratulate to the team of the CKP Thawala Pharmacy Institute, especially uh, Dhiran sir, who has. put a thought about the short term training program for the pharmaceutical dosages preparation and buying ultimately uh, we have seen the pharmaceutical industry are highly regulated industry compared to the other industries if you can think the pharmaceutical industries are highly regulated industry that means whatever the things you can do everything should be documented and you have to take a prior approval for changes in a formulation in a dose in a package or any kind of the things so as a being the pharmacist we should also know that before the taking the market authorization and the market approval from the respective regulatory agency there is a need to give a well compiled documents and that is called the dosier right and as in graduate school of pharmacy we are also offering the mpharm program in regulatory affairs so we know the what is the importance of regulatory affairs and the regulatory affairs department right ultimately we can say it is a one of the legal document of about your company your uh, product and the formulation which is going to be in market so here i am not taking the much time but here i am giving the three points about the dosier the one thing is there is why there is a need of the dosier right so here i can give the three t the one is a trust 
ultimately whatever the product you are going to formulate that should be trustworthy it should having the very good efficacy quality and safety as per the we can say the ics guideline and the regulatory guideline so everyone uh, the many times the small manufacturers ask why there is a need of the dosier submission because it is a one of the trust worthy document of your, about your product and about your company second is a transformation that means how you can convert the active pharmaceutical ingredient into the complete finished product here i am saying the finished product that means it is the product which is available into the market that means what is the packing what is the labeling what is the pack size what is the information on the labels <laughs> even the uh, product information leaflet so everything should be on a market pack so how you can convert your active pharmaceutical ingredient into the <coughs> finished product so all the stages are should be transformed into the dosier so that's why there is a need of the dosier and the last it is called the technology so why there is a need of the dosier because you are going to develop the technology of our, about your product so how you can convert those technology into the documentation it is in respect to the method development and validation stability study uh, stability study details as well as you can also provide the impurity profiling of your your product so why there is a need of the dosier so here i can say there is a 3t is required for the understanding the dosier is what is a trust second is a transform and third is a technology now near the next point is a how to prepare uh, most of times we have observed and in our also student of the regulatory affairs they ask it what is the how to prepare a dosier what is the standard format for the dosier preparations right so each regulatory agency having their own formats and at present there is also a various software and open tools are also available to prepare a dosier documents so starting from your company's name up to the all the data are put into the uh, dosier preparations so for that what is required so here i can say the talent is required so how you can utilize the talent right and uh, for the upscaling your talent such kind of the courses is required right so how to prepare a dosier there is no any uh, thumb rule for that but it is required the talent individual talents so now i have seen most of our students are doing the freelancing work they can prepare a dosier for the respective uh, product and submit to the regulatory agencies right so how to prepare a dosier it is also one of the talent is required and for that you have to go for this such kind of the short term training program to acquiring the talents and the last is a what you can get after submission of your dosier ultimately a business that we can say the fourth t is a trade right why you can go for the submission of the dosier is required to put your product into the market and you can start uh, selling that product and start a revenue generation so ultimately it is a trade so uh, i am not taking that much of time but to understand why how and what right the dosier preparation and filing so for the why you can understand the 3t trust transform and technology and for the preparation you require a talent and what you get after submission of the dosier that is called the trade so ultimately this short term uh, training program can give the understanding of these three aspect to the respective participants and they can also get the various skills and the exposure of various software okay, where they can make the prepared and what are the raw data is required to preparation of the dosier ultimately your dosier is your legal document of about the product 
So whatever you can write on that, based on the things, you can get the approval and the market authorization of the product. So as a being the pharmaceutical company, there is a different team is required. There is a scientist team who can do the formulation development. There is a QA, QC department who can do the uh, regulatory check, quality check, and the scale up department who can scale up the, your formulation. But along with this, now the regulatory is also the one of the main part of the <coughs> team. Ultimately, if you cannot understand the, what is the regulatory requirement, you cannot get the product approval. I can give, uh, I can uh, stop one of the, uh, uh, my talk after giving the one of the example. Suppose there is an IPA, isopropyl alcohol, right? So in that isopropyl alcohol, how much of amount is required, permissible amount is required in your formulations, right? So in the regulatory guideline, is it given there is a 5000 ppm is permissible limit. So when you can submit the dosier, what you can write? whether it is a 500 ppm, 250 ppm, 5000 ppm, but you can also understand by converting your lab to the scale. So what are the parameters you can keep in mind and based on that, the regulatory requirement also justifies, right? So if you cannot compile the regulatory requirements, you have to recall your batch and ultimately it is a loss to the company, right? So the, as a being the regulatory uh, person, we should understand the regulation first and then how to apply them into the actual practice. Thank you very much. So again, thanks to the Dylan sir and the team for inviting me for the this innovation session of the short term training program on pharmaceutical dosier preparation and filing. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for explaining the importance of dosier preparation and enrich our students with your knowledge and also for telling us about trust, transport and technology. Once again, thank you, sir. In last, I would like to request Dr. Vinod T. Ramani, sir, for deliver what of time. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Kinjal, madam. Uh, very good afternoon, one and all. Uh, uh, it's uh, my honor to propose what of thanks on behalf of CKP Thawala Pharmaceutical Science and Research, Surat and GTU CCE. I, Dr. Vinod Ramani, Associate Professor, Department of Pharmaceutics, uh, take this opportunity to thank one and all uh, on this occasion of this inauguration ceremony of GTU CCA short term training program on pharmaceutical dosier preparation and filing. First of all, I extend my gratitude to GTU Center for Continuing Education for providing platform and opportunity to be a part of GTU CCA team. A uh, big thank you uh, uh, for this uh, providing opportunity. And uh, uh, also a big thank you to our today's all distinguished guests, uh, Professor Mahesh Panchal sir, Head, GTU Center for Continuing Education, uh, Dr. Sanjay Chohan sir, thank you, uh, Director, Profile, uh, Professor, Graduate School of Pharmacy, Gujarat Technological University, and Dr. Vaibhav Dubey sir, Deputy General Manager, Olympic Pharmaceutical, uh, Pharmaceuticals Limited, Vadodara, for accepting our invitation and sharing your knowledge and information with us on today's event. Your presence motivators all the time, sir. I extend my word of thanks to all CKPA PSR uh, management representative for their continuous support and encouragement. I'm also thankful to Dr. Dhiren P. Shah, sir, principal CKPA PSR for your encouragement and guidance to organize such a motivational and helpful uh, 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 workshops as well as training programs uh, regularly at our institute and motivate our students as well as all the faculty members. I also thankful to all my colleagues for their technical uh, support uh, to uh, organize this program from the starting to this first day of our inauguration ceremony. Uh, they had taken a lot of uh, pain uh, for the management and taking approval from the GTU and everything. A big thank you for our CKBA PSR team. Thank you very much once again. Last but not the least, I thank you all the faculty members and students from various institute, industry from showing their interest in this program and participated. Uh, we, we will try to stand on your expectation uh, from this training program and hope you will have a best learning experience which you can uh, really use in your professional life and grow further. Once again, thank you. Thank you one and all. Thank you. Over to you, madam. Thank you so much.
much everyone we will end our session thank you once again joy me yes thank you thank you all uh uh all the uh, uh you know faculty members can leave uh, uh, and uh, uh, all the participants uh, should remain for this uh, meeting for 5 minutes so that i can give you the little bit more guideline for tomorrow's uh, sessions which we are going to uh, start right so all other faculty members and invited uh, guest i uh, i can uh, uh, say them uh, they may also uh, leave this session now so all student can continue Yes, thank you thank you